Yo, what's going on guys? Bigfoot. Back in the fake Lego room. Um, coming at you with a haul video of a, um, a Facebook Marketplace purchase. Um, I usually, obviously you know I do Halo Mega Constructs, but I missed out on the Destiny Mega Constructs line. I'm a pretty big Destiny fan. I, I play it currently um, with Destiny 2 Lifefall. I just released, um, this kind of came in a good time to where I can do a Destiny 2 Lightfall uh, Mega Constructs review in a sense. Even though these aren't from um, Destiny 2, uh, they're based off of the original Destiny game and then uh, the beginning of Destiny 1 with the uh, tower hangar with shacks in the back there. Um, but quickly, we'll just go through um, with some of the vehicles I got. I'll show off the, the ship here in a second, but I'll show off the... Um, this blue ship here, I or uh, tank, I f just forgot it, what it's called. Um, I think it's an interceptor, um, the Cobalt Interceptor, I believe. And the blue um, style, I think, I think this was in the original in blue, like in the original Destiny 2 um, launch, it was blue. Um, but I think it's changing down to red, I believe, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, this top piece has come off real quick, so you can kind of see an engine compartment. Um, down there in the blue um, and these do these cans do um, kind of um, act like in the game when they shoot they kind of front launch back um, they do launch um, you have some uh, missiles here in the front that I'm not gonna fire I don't want to lose them um, this is kind of just a quick overview so I'm not doing a quick review um, and some actually um, uh, lift propulsion and some Clear smooth uh, piece so it can slide along uh, quite easy to fit a uh, figure there in the back. Um, did not come with the Scion character, um, which kind of a bummer. Did come with the Red Legion character, um, the Phalanx, which is cool. But um, that's a first little vehicle, or not little, but larger vehicle. Um, it came with two Sparrows. Um, the, I think it's the Jade Rabbit logo on the back. Um, it's from Destiny 1 also. Um... And I think this set came together with the uh, Cabal figure there and the um, Titan figure. Um, and, I mean, I didn't really care for this in the game, this this stylus of, of Sparrow, which, you know, not the big of a deal. I, th I don't remember seeing this in Destiny 1, but it, I'm sure it was there because it's based off of Destiny 1. And so, one Sparrow. Um, the second Sparrow is which I'm more partial to. This is my favorite style of Sparrow in Destiny 1. Um, the classic original, um, but this is just a different colorization. Uh, in Destiny 2, we have a bunch of outlandish sparrows, but this classic design is what I really, really enjoy. Um, what you'll notice is on uh, some of these on the sets, they're pretty dusty. This, the guy just displayed them, and uh, he usually does Halo, and um, so he was just getting rid of his cl small collection. Um, but a pretty, pretty cool little sparrow. I do love this. Um, back when Destiny 1 first launched, I had a Lego version with those huge and bulky. just didn't look good, but this looks super sleek, and you can fit a character on both the Sparrows. Um, I'll show you the Gladiator. I'm not really impressed with the Gladiator because, I mean, the size difference is pretty pretty substantial. Like, this, I think, to the character is pretty accurate, this, this Phalanx, but... The Gladiator is just towers over everything and is brick built, obviously. Um, but just, I, I'm not a fan. I'm not sure if this was a boss. I don't think it was. I don't remember this guy from Destiny 1 if he was a boss, but um, I'll have to break his arm off. Um, there we go. I'll fix it real quick. Um, I mean, it's a good build. I mean, it does look like a Gladiator from Destiny 2. And. Um, a little fragile from what I'm noticing, um, but I mean, it's a gladiator, Red Legion. Um, you can kind of see on his, uh, his, his crotch cover, um, but nothing too much to write about or write home about with that. Um, now we'll get into the figures, um, which is a big, big driving power. What I wanted, the guy wanted 25 bucks for all this, which was a still of a deal uh, because a lot of these figures, even open, are running like 26 bucks just for the figures and some of the weapons. But um, I'll show off these pieces, these are some extra pieces, some extra Titan gear um, that I believe goes on that Titan down here for the Titan King. 
There are some engrams, um, two spare rocket launchers, um, a dark gray and a light gray, and that's more silver, and then a bunch of ghosts. I didn't want to put ghosts on all these characters because it's kind of a pain, um, but I did have a handful of ghosts um, extra, and there are obviously you can see back there ghosts on those characters. Um, we'll start off with this phalanx. Um, I believe that's what it's called. Hope so. Um, he's pretty cool, pretty nice size um, comparatively. Um, He's a Red Legion from uh, Destiny 2, uh, Vanilla Destiny 2 DLC or a game um, that's not in and uh, active. You can see these guys. Actually, on, on, on the EDZ, you can see them. But pretty cool. Pretty good uh, figure. You have a little jetpack type deal there with some printing. Um, nice uh, skull printing on his head. And then a um, nice little helmet right there. And then he does come with the... Uh, Of course, I forgot what it's called, but the uh, the classic uh, gun that they carry. And a brick build and shield. And you can hold on to that pretty well. Um, it's a little fragile also. Um, but can hold on to that and shoot. So, pretty good figure. I Like I said, I don't have any of these Destiny figures. These are the first time having them, so pretty cool. Um, we'll start off with the worst subclass, um, but the Warlock. Um, I'm not sure what set this is, what armor this is based off because it's been so long. Um, but I did give him that arc. Probably, probably doesn't go with this character. Probably he's a Nova Bomb, but he doesn't have that. But just give him a classic little uh, hand cannon. Um, good figure. Um, really good. His robes are um, more rubberized and so flexible that way. Nice color combination with the blue and orange. Really super solid. Um, this is probably one of the, the, out of the two, the better Warlock that I like. Um, good color combination. Um, I like his helmet a lot more than the other one. Um, I did give him, this is I think the Crucible Scout Rifle. Um, has a nice shoulder pad that actually clips into the, um, chest armor there. Hopefully you can see that right, right there. And then on the opposite side there. Um, but good printing, good detail. I, these are the equivalent to Halo Heroes. And so good detail, good paint detail and whatnot on some of these characters um the hunter with future war not future war cult new monarchy um uh, i think that's the uh the faction that i ran in destiny 2 or destiny 1 sorry uh, his have uh this character does have the um new monarchy auto rifle and with a ghost clipped in his back or her back i believe um nice cape the cape is rubbery on this one also really flexible and um super solid does have a place for a knife and i didn't i only had one knife and he's down there on the uh down lower with another hunter with probably the second or for, uh that, those are the two hunters that are one of my favorites but he can't hold a a, a knife on his on his side this is the uh taken king um uh, titan um he has the hammer that i put with him like i said he does go with this, this come with the extra um, armor set um, from Destiny uh, Vanilla or no Taken King I believe is where this armor set came in. Um, I'm not gonna put it on, but uh, just in the red color, crimson. Um, but I gave him the hammer and this nice sniper rifle that looks like Praetith's Revenge um, from Vogue. And good character. I, I rocked his armor for. You know, until I got better stuff, and um, so pretty classic. And then this other one, kind of based off Taken King with a different shader. Does have a nice ghost with some gold coloration on him. With I do not remember what this exotic shotgun's called. Invective, I believe. And then I put the um, the Vanguard hand cannon on him uh, from Amalon. And this guy actually has a paper um, a waist cape, which is weird. Titan mark. And compared to the other ones, they don't have um, fabric, but this one is fabric. And uh, yeah, same armor, just different color as the other Titan. Um, this Titan is, I believe, just the uh, Vanguard style um, armor set. He has a machine gun with Vanguard and then a bunch of just gray and orange um, color scheme. And uh, this is the Vanguard armor, I think, from Vanilla Destiny 2. Um, looks solid. I mean, nothing wrong with it. I do like the helmet. And, um, yeah, solid figure. 
And then the last three figures are my, or I guess there's four. We have shacks up there that I'll, oh, knock with a tripod. I'll grab it a second. Uh, but I'll start with the hunters. Um, this hunter is super good looking. Um, I wish he had an exotic armor piece. I don't, I don't recognize any on him, but just a super good looking hunter. He does have a small cape, uh, which is, um, this is what it is. Um, but I do, I think this is one of the better looking hunters. Um, and I just gave him an amal on hand cannon. Pretty, pretty basic, but a good looking hunter character. And then this hunter, which has Lord of Wolves. Um, man, just looks so good. Um, this is the uh, Trials of Osiris armor gear from, I think, Taken King or or um, Rise of Iron, maybe. Um, this one does have a knife uh, in his hand. But, man, did I, I do love this hunter. I did see this in a Vegas um, collectible shop, sealed. Technically sealed, I had the box, but the box is falling apart for, like, 30 bucks. And so I'm happy I got this guy for super cheap. Um, the plastic is kind of fading. I'm not sure if it's dust and just needs to be washed off. Yeah, I think it's just dust that needs to be rinsed off. But um, the shoulder pad has like the cat on it. Um, his head is kind of like a cat style um, from like a, an Egyptian style. Um, the Lord of Wolves looks super good. Um, super, super solid uh, mold. But I think it's one of my favorite hunters. And my favorite character out of this entire lot is this Titan. I am a Titan main and I probably my go-to exotic uh, armor piece is Saint 14, Helmet Saint 14, and it just looks stellar. Um, did give him Razor Lighter. I mean, it's supposed to go with um, Shaxx, but put it on him. Um, also, he does have, I'm going to call the exotic Kvostov, but um, I know it's not always exotic. You know we have it in D2, but it's not an exotic version. But man, I just love this character. Um, I was going to buy this the uh, sealed version of this for way too much money on eBay, but I'm happy I got this character for so cheap. Um, and I just, I really did like this character. That was the, this was the driving force. I saw this in the picture and I said, let's meet, let's meet up. I'll, I got cash for you, buddy. So this one, this is my favorite figure. Um, I just, I just love everything about it. And I think he shares the same chest piece as um, Shaq's back there, but no big deal. I, I just, this is my, this is my favorite character to have out of this entire lot with that blue ghost. And, oh, I forgot about the, the Fallen. I'm going to knock over my tripod. It's too close to me. Um, they did come with the Fallen Captain, which is really cool. I, this, I think, was probably one of the best iterations of a alien character that Mega Constructs has ever came out with. I know they had the elites, the hunters that look amazing, but this is just, this was a cool character to have, um, to have the Fallen captain this looks looks amazing i did have i didn't have a stand for the shank so i just have the fallen captain holding on to him but also the green shank which is pretty awesome but this captain was is pretty sweet i'm really happy i was able to find this um with this lot it didn't stand very well but uh it'll do and now on to this little bill we'll go over really quick just pretty Pretty basic build, nothing crazy. Tower hanger, um, does have the, um, like a, um, crap over, a hologram type piece back there with a ship and checks is on top. Um, just have these two armor boxes and some missiles on it. Some stairs and, um, but this is Shaxx. Pretty solid figure. I mean, you know, if you played Destiny 2, you know what Shaxx looked like and there you go, that's, it's pretty great. Um, did give him a, just a basic hand cannon from D1, but, uh, that's that. Now, probably one of the best uh, builds from this. Well, the best build. Um, it was this ship. I believe this is from the vanilla uh, Vault of Glass raid. Um, I think this was a hard to get ship, and um, I think this ship runs probably sixty bucks. I think on eBay is what I saw at one point. It does open up to allow a figure inside. Um, it does have a stand with the Destiny logo. I, this is the original Destiny logo, which I absolutely love. Just so classic. But just a sweet-looking ship. Um, I believe I had this in D1. Um, haven't touched it in a long time, but uh, here's the underside of the ship. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. Um, does have two missiles. Um, nothing crazy, but 
just an old, just a really good looking ship. Um, just have a lot of weight to it actually. Um, it's not light. Um, it's pretty heavy, but just looks good. Um, this is one of the things that I was excited about to just to be able to put up on the shelf and have it displayed. And so to have Saint fourteen uh, Titan, and then this ship was probably the, uh, worth every penny of it for twenty five bucks. Um, so this is a longer video. Hopefully you guys got through all of it. Um, but if you like re reviews, mega constructs in general, um, if you like this channel, make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, uh, give it a like rating down below. And as always, take it easy.